Hi, so we're in my kitchen today. Um, I'm going to be making a mock apple pie, um, and that is uh, a recipe that was used quite often during the Great Depression. Um, and I have an interest in kind of looking at recipes right now um, that you know, people used during the Great Depression just to kind of get by with, with what they had, which wasn't a lot. Um, so since we're kind of in this situation now, or at least I am one of the furloughed people who is not employed at the moment, um, there is sort of an increased interest, I want to say, to, um, to sort of, you know, uh, how people got by on, on so very little and people are growing their own victory gardens and things like that. I have one myself, although it's not ready um, and I don't have a plot of land so I'm just growing in containers on my back steps, but um, yeah, so this is a project that I've been working on just myself and I am planning to do one of these recipes from the Great Depression per week. Um, there will be adjustments that I need to make, you know, based on what I have, and you can do the same if you're following along. Um, so we'll just get right into it. So today's recipe is mock apple pie. Mock apple pie actually uses no apples, that's why it's called mock apple pie. Um, that stood up there. It's really hot in my kitchen, by the way. It's hot in California today. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing mock apple pie, and I have to start out by saying that I went to get ingredients at the store, and probably a lot of people have found this. Because people are baking so much right now and cooking so much, um, a lot of the ingredients are hard to come by. Um, so I, there was no flour. Um, I've also heard that baking soda is hard to find. Um, so because of that, I actually did find pre-made frozen pie crusts in the kitchen. I mean, sorry, in the freezer section of the local grocery store. Um, but you can make a pie crust from scratch using a recipe that I have here. Um, it only calls for Crisco. And a lot of these uh, ingredient lists include Crisco, I've noticed. Um, salt, flour, and water. It's a very simple pie crust to make. I'm just going to hold it up here so you can have a look at it um, if you want to make yours from scratch. Okay, but as I said, I am not making mine from scratch. Um, although I would if there had been any flour, but there is not. So, here's what we're gonna need for the filling. Um, you're gonna need water, granulated sugar, cream of tartar, cream of tartar, I guess if you wanna say it <laughs> not stupid like I just did. Um, and by the way, I have a margarita. So, get yourself some, too. Um, Ritz crackers. You need Ritz crackers. Um, lemon juice. I'm going to do a modification there because I just was stupid and I got limes when I went. I wasn't quite sure which recipe I'd be making at that point. I got limes and not lemons, so I'm going to be putting in lime juice. And it probably does need to be lemon juice, but we're just going to try it. You also need cinnamon. Um, they'll do a topping later, uh, and I think it's more just to cover it, like instead of an actual pie crust on top, you're gonna use more like um, crushed up Ritz crackers. Um, so you will need brown sugar and margarine or butter if you want um, for that. And then of course they top it off with Cool Whip, whip topping. You can use whatever whipped cream or ice cream, whatever you want. Um, okay, so first things first, 
We're gonna mix water, granulated sugar, and cream of tartar in a large saucepan. And then bring that to boil on medium heat. Well, I don't even have a large saucepan. I have a smaller, medium-sized saucepan. So whatever, use whatever you've got. Just make it work. That's actually going to be the title of this. Making it work. Okay. Mix water. So how much water do we need? Two cups of water. Two cups of water. Um, and three fourths of a cup of granulated sugar. Oh my god, I almost forgot to put on my one apron too. So if you've got an apron, put it on. Mine is very festive for Christmas. That's all I've got. That's what I'm doing. I'm making it work. really hot in here today. I'm like melting. Um, okay, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I was able to get sugar when I went to this, the grocery store today, so that's good. Oh man, I totally just ripped open the bag and tons of it went all over my counter. So this is the kind of thing that happens when I cook, or actually when I bake. It's not so bad when I cook, but I am a terrible, terrible baker, and there's not much I can do about that. Just keep trying, I guess. Okay, two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Teaspoons cream of tartar. Okay, got these cute little things there. You know who's gonna watch this through to the end? My mom. Isn't that right, mom? Okay. Right, so, so you want to bring this mixture of water, granulated sugar, and cream of tartar um, to a boil in your large saucepan. So I'm going to do that. because I have gas heat and it blows the flame all over the place. Um, sorry, sorry about my bangs there. Trying <laughs> dripping sweat. Um, okay, so just to get ready, the next part, um, once it does come to a boil, we're gonna add Ritz crackers. So how many, how much Ritz crackers? We need 30. <laughs> So they're pretty exact there. 30 Ritz crackers. I don't know how many there are in a sleeve. Let's see. Just bust the whole thing open. Ok, 
Okay, so there's actually 31 in the sleeve, so probably there's meant to be 30. So I would just use one sleeve of Ritz crackers. Again, drink my Fugano. Um, let's see. So I've got the Ritz crackers ready. There just yet. I'm gonna get out my wooden spoon here. Maybe. There we go. Just wait for that to come around for a boil. Um. Let's see what else can we prep to get ahead of it. Um, so we are going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not going to do that yet because it's so freaking hot in here. I want to get a little bit further into the um, to the recipe before I have to turn on that oven. Um, Hmm, okay, looks like maybe I can start to get Okay, no, it's not not gonna be ready just yet um, So if you're gonna make the topping I guess we could get that ready as well Obviously keep the Cool Whip out or whipped cream um, or whatever you're going to have. Uh, don't put that in the oven or cook it. Um, so to get the topping ready, we're going to need 25 Ritz crackers crushed. So let's see, I'm going to use this bowl here. Um, so 25 Ritz crackers crush. Take all out all but five of those. One, two, three, four, five. The rest can go in. So that there. Um, so they did say 25 Ritz crackers, and it should be close to about a cup when it's, um, when it's crushed up, but I don't know how exact you need to be with that. I doubt it needs to be too exact. Alright, so aside from the 25 Ritz crackers for the topping, um, and they keep calling it topping. I think it's really more like a, just a, the crust that you're going to put on top instead of the crust, I guess. Um, so you're going to have, when you're done crushing those, um, you're going to need half a cup of baked, sorry, not baked, packed brown sugar. So packed brown sugar, half a cup. Almost done. Crushing these crackers. Some of them are a little big, so I'm gonna crush them down a little bit more. part and let's see for that we need 30 Ritz crackers okay. these 
they didn't say it had crashed, and I think it's because they get soggy, I don't know. You're going to want to reduce that to a simmer once you get to that point. You do really need a larger saucepan than what I have, but making it work. Okay, so I've got those simmering, uh, and apparently you're just supposed to do that on medium, simmer on medium to low heat for five minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay. Yeah, I'm finding you don't need to crush those up. You can put them in whole because they're just going to become soggy and sort of break apart. Um, okay, so then leave that in for another four minutes um, and go back to our topping, covering, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so we did the cracked crackers. We're going to do half a cup of brown sugar. My brown sugar here. Let's see if I can avoid messing this one up. Okay. Packed. So packing that there. I'm actually, using a quarter of a cup. Um, so I'm doing two of those. For some reason I have a cup, I have a third, and a quarter, but I don't have half a cup. Who knows why. I'm sure it got lost in one of my moves along the way. There have been many. Um, okay. So, in addition to that, you're going to need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Remember to get yourself more to drink if you're almost done. That's my cat, she's saying hello. Those who know her know she's very loud indeed. Hi, 
This is crazy how much this is starting to look like an apple filling already, even though there's no apple in it. Um, okay, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We got that. Um, a third of a cup of margarine melted. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, third of a cup. Okay, I'm removing that mixture while I'm doing the butter because it has been five minutes. Or margarine, I guess. If you're using margarine, I am using butter. Okay. should melt pretty fast because it is so hot in here. So the next part is, okay, so you are supposed to combine that topping. Um, let's see, I have a little spoon here. It sounds so weird to make a mock apple pie without any apples, but I have read that it really does taste like apples when it comes out, and so far I'm very just impressed with how all of the ingredients combine together. Um, and again, you're really just making something out of nothing, like making do with what you have. combine to go on top then so if you did your pie crust from scratch um, you've got your dough all laid out And if you're me, you don't have a pile of that you did from scratch. So, I've got 
have my frozen one here. And so what you're going to do is take that mixture off the stove and um, just kind of ladle it in to your pie crust, evening it out. as you can see. Okay. Just want to make sure you could see how it looks and what I'm doing and not just my sweaty face. Um, okay. So, putting that in there. Looks good. Smoothing it out so it doesn't splash over. I can see like I've got not many, but there's a couple of um, sort of larger pieces of Ritz that didn't break down. You can just kind of push on them. This is for real the first pie I've ever baked, and it's a pretty much a fake one. Mock apple pie. <laughs> so funny. Um, okay, so at this point I will go ahead and preheat the oven. It's going to be very hot, I know, but preheat to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll let that go while I'm putting the topping on. Alright, so then you just take the topping. Just Again, this is how that pie is looking there. And you just take the topping, kind of sprinkle it on. I've got kind of a couple of, I've seen, not many, but a couple of big chunks of um, brown sugar in there, and I haven't really, since it is spread out in the rest of the mixture, I haven't really bothered to try to um, bust those up at all because it be kind of a nice surprise, I think, to get a big sugary bite there. Look at that. Looks like a real pie. Who would have thought? Those depression era grandmas knew what they were doing. My great grandma Rouse was a fantastic cook and you could tell that she lived through the Great Depression though because she would bake date bread in tin cans. Um, and it's a recipe that my mom still does all the time and she uses the aluminum cans. So it's interesting how that's also been handed down, even though it, time, it came from a time of austerity and frugality. Look at that. That's looking great. A little weird, but I'm excited to taste it. Coming to the end here, our little mixture. So just want to make sure I get it up on to all of the edges. Mm. 
Voilà. Ciao, Bella. Um, okay, so. Pretend that did not just drop. Um, yes. So now I'm just waiting for the oven to be preheated, which mine does pretty quickly, so it shouldn't be too long, but I'm gonna go ahead and just read to you the rest of the directions for that. Um, bake 15 minutes, then you reduce the oven temperature to 350, and you bake another 20 minutes, or until it's golden brown. Um, so once it's once you take it out, it's cooled for a little while, you can serve it topped with ice cream or Cool Whip or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. Mock. Mock apple pie. Hope you liked it. I'm going to pick something else next week. Probably not baking. Okay, thanks.